My name is Julian Bond. I teach at American University in Washington, D.C., and have taught at a number of other universities around the country. I got involved in the civil rights movement in 1960. I was sitting in a cafe across the street from Morehouse College, and a student whom I knew only vaguely came up to me and held up a newspaper and said, have you seen this? And I thought he was asking, do you read the newspaper? And I was insulted because I thought most college students read a newspaper every day. But no, he meant a particular story. And the story said, Greensboro students sit in for third day. And it told how for the third day in a row, black students in Greensboro, North Carolina, had gone to the local F&W Woolworths department store, had bought something here, had bought something there, had bought something over here, and then had sat down at the lunch counter, asked to be served. They refused service, they sat there for an hour, they got up and, and left. Another group sat down and took their place and repeated the same thing for another hour, and they got up and left, and another group came and so on. And he said, have you seen that? I said, yes, I saw it. He said, what do you think about it? I said, I think it's wonderful, I think it's great. He said, don't you think it ought to happen here in Atlanta? I said, oh, it's gonna happen here in Atlanta, I know it's gonna happen here. And before he could say, uh, why don't we make it happen here, uh, he said, you take one side of the cafe, I'll take the other side, and we'll call a group together. And we made sure that we had somebody from Morehouse College, from uh, Spelman College, from Mars Brown College, from uh, Atlanta University, and from the Interdenominational Theological Center, from all of the institutions that made up the Atlanta University Center, made sure we had somebody from each of these schools. And that's how the Atlanta student movement began, and that's how I got involved. Because I was a good writer, I volunteered to be the publicity guy, and that was my role both in the Atlanta Student Movement and in the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. I was the person who was in touch with the media who said the NAACP did that, but the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee did that. Dr. King did this, but the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee did this. I made sure that the media knew what the Atlanta student movement was doing, what the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, who was doing what. The point of no return for me was when I realized I was spending more time with the student movement than I was with my education, that I was neglecting my studies and I had to make a choice, go to school or go to the movement, and I chose the movement, and I dropped out of school. Luckily, I was able to go back at a later date and finish, but I just dropped out. I let it go.